Hi guys, Rui here with Narrative for Blender. In this one, we're going to talk about do you really need sharp edges in your hard surface modeling? The short answer is not really. And let me show you what I mean. Well, we have this shape in here uh, that I quickly cut with box cutter. And we're going to add some bevel to it, right? So we're going to add some bevel to it. And you can see the shading goes, uh, goes to garbage. Um, so in a situation like this, normally what we would do we will just simply introduce weighted normals, meaning go to sharpen, alt, and click it. And in vanilla blender, you know, you add bevel and then weighted normals, right? So they're both in here. Now, if you look at weighted normal settings, there's one important settings, it's called weight. And now it's set to 50. And if you hover your mouse over the settings, it will tell you exactly what this setting does. And 50 is literally in the middle, okay? And there are situations with, uh, you know, faces like this or really small faces that might not be affected by weighted normals. And this will result in a very weird shading in your models. So what you want to do is flex it to maximum. And I don't know if you've seen that, but there was a, a like a minute flex in this area. In addition to this setting, what you want to do is switch your uh, face strength mode in bevel to affected. And this will really flex all the faces dead flat, okay? This will really shoot all the normals um, directly straight, perpendicular to the face um, orientation. But there are a few problems with uh, bevel set to angle. And for example, area like this right let me just remove the uh the settings here area like this here that you know it's too shallow to be caught by the bevel because bevel catches uh, everything above um angle of 30 and this is definitely not 30 right this is probably uh, something uh, i don't know five or four or whatever something really tiny so let's try to adjust this angle until this bevel catches, right? There you go. So we are, we are at what? 2.7. So now everything should be fine, but there's one problem. If you have bevels, you know, like this in corners, right? You can see what's happening. The bevel is trying to bevel every single edge between them because, well, they match the requirements, the criteria, um, the angle, um, right? So unless you have something a little bit deeper, okay, like this, right, and your bevel doesn't actually catch the corners, right, so the corners are not being caught, but this one is, so it's going to be like, what, 15 or something, 11, there you go, see, then, then you're fine. But what if, you know, you are in a situation like we've just been a few seconds ago, this one, what, what do you do here, right? What you could do, right, let's reset this angle back to 30, what you could do is run sharpen, right? You could run sharpen on all these edges here, right? Manually, or you could just one click with hard ops and run them this way, right? So you would just go to mark sharp and sharp and sharpen them up. And this will introduce a sharp edge. However, it will not introduce a bevel, right? And there's going to be a one, a really nasty transition in here. You can see that, right? And two, Every single edge that's sharpened, you can see the difference between them. Look at this edge right here, the transition between the bevel and the edge where there is no sharp edge. Now look at the transition here. You can see clearly the sharp, nasty line and this, this, you know, like a division between these two surfaces. And it really looks quite ugly, okay? So that's what sharp edges do to your bevels, right? And it just doesn't look really good. So let's remove these, uh, let's remove these edges, okay? So let's unmark this. Let's go to edge and clear sharp. And we're good to go. So now let's say that uh, we really wanted to bevel this edge and at the same time, um, you know, introduce this break in here, this visible uh, kind of like a line. We don't want it to be a smooth transition. We want it to be like, you know, really aggressive kind of a slope, right? with a distinctive edge 
So what do you do? Well, the only way to do this, right, would be to simply introduce bevel weight to all the edges. Now I'm not going to do it with vanilla because it's just too much work. I'm going to do it with uh, hard ops. So I'm going to go here to settings and switch on the bevel weight. Make sure that my sharpness angle is the 30 and I'm going to simply run sharp on all the edges. This will sharpen all the edges except for these that are below uh, 30 degrees. And I'm going to sharpen this one manually because it doesn't fall into category, but I'm going to leave these ones alone for the obvious reasons. Now I will switch my bevel from angle to weight and magic happens. You got beautiful smooth edges, this transition, right, the bevel on it, and all the faces are dead straight. They're just dead flat, you know, there's no deformation anywhere. It's perfect shading. And that's why I think that sharp edges should be used extremely rarely. Um, I really don't use them very often. I use them occasionally in situations when I need to flex some faces, but I try to avoid them. And I prefer to use these, this method instead. Anyway, guys, hope it helps you out and hope you learned something useful. Give us a like and sub if you did. As usual, there are links to hardobs, box cutter, and mesh machine and decal machine add-ons in the description if you like add-on workflows um go ahead and buy them these are affiliate links so are gonna help me as well there are tons of videos on my channel to help you out understanding how to use these add-ons and many other add-ons um, i'm a heavy add-on user and i think that's how it should be uh, because they just simply make our life much easier that's it for this video guys thanks for watching catch you in the next one